Many years ago, I think it was the very first year I was here, I've told this story several times, so I'll give you the abridged version, that we had five prophets in a year prophesy that revival was coming from the youth. And I, we love the youth, by the way, and I have eight grandchildren. I have no problem with that theology whatsoever. But the third time, I'm sorry, the fourth time it happened, I was sitting in the front row. It was on a Friday night. I still remember it vividly. I fell on the floor and I was weeping. Now, I'm not much of a fall on the floor weeper guy. And I, and I didn't know why I was on the floor weeping. Have you ever had God talk to your heart but not your head? I was like, I'm laying there and I'm weeping and I have no idea why. We had just prayed for God to come, you know, to, for the young people that revival was coming from the youth. This is the fourth time. And I, I don't know if I was going through menopause. I couldn't figure out what was happening to me. And I, 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 I left. I went home that, that night. I was like, what was that about? I have no idea what it was about. And, uh, and then about three, two or three months later, it was in December. I still remember it very vividly. I, I had the same thing happen again. This, we, were, we were praying for this prophetess. It was a woman, very, very, very good lady. She was prophesying revivals coming from the youth, and we were praying for the youth. And I was like, I don't know what happened, but this, I, just started to, I just started to cry and wail. And I was like, what is going on? i got to get out of here. And I ran out of the church and drove home. Not good when you're the pastor. And we were living in a little apartment. I'm laying on the floor, and I'm weeping, and I don't know what's going on. And I'm, I'm like, am I going crazy? What is happening to me? And the Lord said to me, revival is not coming from the youth. He said, my, my prophets are speaking from the second heaven. He said, revival is coming from one generation. Old, young, middle age, from one generation. And immediately I had this vision. And in this vision, I saw this father with two daughters, and he said to the one daughter, you're beautiful, but said nothing to the second. They were in another place in the vision. They were in another location. And the father said to the same daughter, you're beautiful, but said nothing to the second. The, they were in another place. That This happened a third time. And the, the two daughters were in the same place, in another place with their father. And their father looked at the same daughter and said, you're beautiful, but said nothing to the second. And the Lord said to me, omission is powerful. And he said, if you say the revival is coming from the youth, what are you saying to the middle age? And what are you saying to the elders? And the Lord said to me, what generation does your, what generation does, does your culture honor? <laughs> Everybody's trying to be young. People say, you're young at heart. Everybody's dying their hair. I'm, I'm good with die. I'm good with die. I'm all good. It's all good. But I'm saying the goal is to not be old. And the, and the Lord said, what generation does my, does my kingdom, does my Bible honor? Oh, a gray head is a crown. Fathers. And I, I said, fatherhood. I said, the Lord, Lord, you, you honor the elderly. He said, that's right. And he reminded me, Psalms 133, the, uh, the anointing begins over the top of Aaron's head. It says, how good and how pleasant it is for men, for, for children, to, to, for people to dwell together in unity. It's like the anointing that starts from the top of Aaron's head. And it flows all the way down over his feet. How many know that if you stay in right order, that you're just as anointed as a toe? as it is on the head. How many of you know the anointing flows downhill? Crap flows that way too, but so does anointing. <laughs> now, I, I began to realize Acts 2.14 says, in the last days I'm going to pour out my spirit on, help me, all flesh. All flesh, not your sons and your daughters, but all flesh. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your old men will dream dreams. Even upon your bond servants will I pour out my spirit and they shall prophesy. How many know revival doesn't have a gender? Help me, ladies. Revival doesn't have a gender. It doesn't have a generation, old and young. And it doesn't have a social class, even upon your bond servants. It doesn't matter how much money you have, you're included. 